Greetings, ghouls and ghosts. Uh, Code Nine Thousand One here, back for another Halloween fest, and this time around, I brought with me a very special guest. Introduce yourself. Right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. King Sarkoshi here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yeah, the fourth entry in the Castlevania series that I'm doing for the channel, and one that many people consider to be one of the easiest in the entire classic series. I also hear people talk, at least give this thing in high regard as well. Oh yeah, despite definitely. how easy it is. Yeah, it definitely fixed a lot of problems that most uh, Castlevania games of the past had. What's wrong? No, nothing. It just uh, I'm letting it play because uh, story purposes. Oh yeah, plots. Yes, plots a thing. Hmm, whose gravestone is that? It's totally Wolfman's, right? Wolfenstein, now. Oh, Batman? <laughs> I mean, he did fight Dracula at one point, so. <laughs> Wolfman, Bat. Eh, one or the other. Alucard! Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Very good. Thus, this text is uh, so slow, I am speaking in Shetner's voice. Thus, the power the of Dracula starts to revive itself. <laughs> okay, Christopher Walken. This power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister uh, actions, I couldn't read that for a second, have been thwarted. Uh, const constantly thwarted. Consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. But now, the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces beyond our comprehension. But they are, I don't know. <laughs> On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Why the countryside? I don't know. I mean, they've got nice places. Once again, the Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula. Wait a minute. Once again? Does Only this mean... his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Actually, when he said Simon Belmont, they really meant Simon Belmont II. Okay. Because I was going to say, there's no, like thing there to indicate that it's the second because so wait a minute it's either simon belmont the one from the first castlevania game is either 100 years old at this over 100 years old at this point or this is his restore point uh get out out oh i gotta freaking do it with the game that shit I'm not even pressing it! That's really weird. Yeah. Unplug that controller and turn it off. Uh, I would, but the thing is, is that the power is... Hang on a sec. Let me do something real quick. Time out! Well, anyways. Let's officially get started. Hopefully. Hmm, what shall the name of our adventure be? Because I, I don't think I'd like Salem by Belmont, despite the fact that that's clearly what he's named as. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know. Uh... I'm drawing a blank, actually. God damn. Uh... Hmm. Should we 
and roll with it. <laughs> Let's. Well, we gotta figure out something, but. Uh, Alright, you know what? No, I know a name. What? Let me write it in. Okay. You hold this. Okay. Hold it. Hey, Vegeta! I'm gonna become a vampire hunter! Oh, god damn it, Napa! <laughs> Alright, press start. Yeah, there you go. It was either that or Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we. Napa enters. or not, not technically in. Uh, the castle yet because we're on the outskirts. Ooh! Alright, uh, by the way, you can jump on stairs now! And control your jumps in midair! It took four freaking games! Oh, but that's just some of the many improvements they made. In fact, if you hold out your whip like this by holding the Y button... Whiplash! Yeah, Yay! whiplash! You can actually control your whip. And you have eight directional whip movement! Do -do -do. I love this opening track. Most of the music in this game I think is pretty good. It is. Money! I love how you're still jumping and everything even though you know you can't aim. <laughs> Alright, let's back up a little bit here. Get some more hots. I don't think there's anything that way, so... Okay. Let's uh, continue onward. I do... Like I said, I do love the whip in this game because it actually is mo more versatile than than almost any sub weapon really that actually that would have been funny <laughs> but no we got Napa god damn it Napa okay. um it's in the background I'll be gonna argue no I'll not Bats, bats die from uh, hands up. Napa. Ah! Bats. I hate My bats. I one weakness. Oh, of course I got a screen new with one. It doesn't matter. Just walk forward. Okay, just walk forward. I thought doorway would have been the indication, but. Hey, right. Look, cross. Yeah, let which me just, let me just say right now, cross his world, cross his life, don't lose it. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you get it, uh, the triple shot. Yeah. And down there, I believe, is meat. Hot roast, whatever. Oh. Nope. There was nothing. Oh, there was hot roast. Oh, there is. You just got it, but. Oh, okay. That because I hit a candle. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. There's gonna be more uh, crosses. Besides, there's one particular place where you can get the cross anyway. You know where that is. I don't remember offhand. End of the game? Oh, yeah, towards the end of the game, of course. Yeah, just like traditional Castlevania. Always gives you the cross towards the end. Either that or holy water. Because it's, like, it's almost like they're the two best weapons in the entire freaking series! Well, what was it? Rondo Blow Lake Temple Water. Wait, no, no, the Holy Water was still pretty powerful than that. Yeah, Hydro Storm. Which is what you yeah. get from the Holy Water. They're like, Rondo Blow Lake to have a war with you in the form of Maria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, Maria. But, yeah, if you're playing the Dracula X version, which I'm not sure. That's the thing, with Rondo Blood, I'm not sure if I'll ever get to that. Because, A, that requires me to have money to get the original version on the Wii. Alright, here's another thing. You can latch onto these, which you're gonna have to in some sections later. Yeah. 
Like, like, that like now. Oh yeah, there's also another thing you can do. Hmm? Which you don't seem to be taking advantage of. What? Oh, right, 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 restore points. I was talking about something else. Oh, what? Hold down for a moment. You can duck and move. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Duck walk. Yeah. <laughs> duck walk! You can use those to make easy work of those, um, whatever they are. Oh, uh, the bone... Bone uh, colors. Bone dragons. <coughs> yeah. Or the bone colors. Yeah, I think it's bone colors. Yeah, so. I'm not particularly good with Castle, with, uh, Castlevania or whatever it is. I mean, I can understand. It's not for everyone. The only Castlevania game I ever really played, I think, I played this with, on an emulator. Mm -hmm. Keyboard control, so... You can already get that in the ground. Mm -hmm. And, uh... The other one I played was... Port Actually, no, I played three of them. One was, uh, this one. The other two were Portrait of Ruin. Oh, holy water! A got severely nerfed in this game, unfortunately. Oh, uh, right. R is the item. It's okay. But... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm more used to holding up and then pressing the whip button because of the previous Castlevania games. But, no, they simplified it where you have R as your sub-weapon. Pick it from right. Yeah, four times. And you're almost dead. I see that! Well, the good news is, there's holy water right there. Wait. I almost thought this was speaking of a little thing now. I was about to say, like, I'm pretty sure there's checkpoint between. So, how good are, like, how... What's your history with Castlevania? I mean, obviously, I played the first three games on my channel that you guys should totally watch before coming here. Yeah, but I was talking just in general. Uh, my first Castlevania experience, uh was... I mean, a lot of it was just watching people play the games. Uh, I didn't actually play it myself until I got uh, a chance to play uh, Rondo Blood on my friend's Wii mm. a while back, and you know, it's just it's just something that stuck with me. I think you can hit the top one for a moment. And, uh, yeah, check them, yeah, keep, oh god, okay, there we go, yeah, just keep an eye on the computer for me, will you? Yeah. Because it likes to sleep a lot. Then we can change the settings, maybe after recording, I can fix it up for you. Yeah, I guess. Because there should be settings where you can change it while it's, um, charging and not put to sleep. That's why I do it with my life. Oh. oh god. Infamous Medusa heads! They're actually the not that bad in this game. Yeah. Point. Well, I would say, like, your best we course of weapon is actually the whip in this game. Because it's just so damn powerful. It is. Oh! It's only as good as the person that's wielding it, so. Make so, sure you know how to aim it. Okay, yeah, I got the stopwatch. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. And knife. Yeah. Ah, like, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, the eggs are actually pretty easy. An effective way to take, take care of the ghost is just dangle your whip around like mad. Like so! <laughs> I'm, I'm... There we go. I almost screwed that up. Hold the um. Yeah, there you go. I know some of the tricks, so that's why part of this is familiar to me. Alright. Just throw daggers and. Oh shit, I didn't even realize I was out of time! Yeah, well, still one. Yeah, thanks to the whip. Mm -hmm. 
Was it just me or was the timer still going when I was going going to collect the ball? I'm not sure. Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure it said 35 seconds before I grabbed it. Anyways. Now, next level. Yep. Unfortunately, those hands don't hurt you, they just grab you. Yeah. Swamping. I do like the fact that they incorporate uh, more uh, uh, universal monster movies into this game. Did you just come out again? Uh, 91, I think. Either. I remember this was a. Or. No, I think 94. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Inclines, man! This game truly is mad. <laughs> <laughs> Armadillo, man. Oh, gotta get from there. Oh, there's six candles over here. Meat that I didn't need. Or did I? I don't know. Ah, uh, you were full health. Oh, hi there! Ow. Zombies. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Ow. Yeah, that's the one unfortunate thing, is that they're still knocked back in this game. Yeah. Stupid bird! I am the Great Napa! I'll turn you into roast chicken. Huh, I was floating on top of the water there. You can float on top of there for a little bit before it starts to sink. Oh, uh, so it's kind of like quicksand? Yeah, it's a bog, I think. It's not actual water, but uh, I don't remember for sure, so don't take my word for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not going to chance it. I will, however, get that. I guess we'll find out now. Okay. Ah, yes. Gotta love when you can't hit enemies on the. Well, actually, you can. You just. Ow, you mark! He's taking way too many hits. Well, luckily, just like, you know, all the other uh, casting, class casting games up to this point, you do have infinite continues, so it's only a matter of time before you beat the game. Yeah. Or if you rage point, but... But this game shouldn't be nearly as bad. Yeah, this game shouldn't be that bad in terms of... Well, at least until the final gauntlet. And oh, I think... there's only one boss in particular that really did make sense. Yeah, in the gauntlet, yeah. And you, I think you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. Third echo, man. What he looks like. I know that's what he looks like, but still, it just... Yeah, well, I know he's real man. Well, yeah, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, and you've got your life back in the sounds of it. Yep. Because Konami loves certain numbers. Yeah, just forget him. No! Oh, now he goes down in one shot. 
Yeah, but you were wiggling the, um... Okay, pot roast and the cross, yes. Yeah, you were wiggling the whip last time we were trying to fight. Okay, so it's not as effective as just a straight A straight strike. strike does more damage than actually wiggling. Oh, okay. It does, like, less damage. I think it's, it's effective against the bird, I think. Yeah, because um, you can do multi-hits with it, I think. Yeah. With, um, regular moves, like the, um, skeletons or whatever, it's no, just kind of... No, don't want that! Okay, let me see if I can do something here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice trick to do. It's still, it will outrun you at some point, but it's still... Ooh, chicken! Chicken. Yeah, the little ones I'm gonna call chicken, and the big ones are traditional pot roast. Even though it's all pot roast, one is smaller and one's bigger, but... Eh, whatever. Mysterious wall chicken, that's why I call it. Because I think if you uh, get enough candles... Uh, in a stage, you can get the double and triple start shot. Your... Yeah, just start throwing your... Oh, you bitch. You can start using whip, you know. I, I keep forgetting it's the Y button. Alright, let's see if the... Yeah. I think your health restores when... Survey says? Uh, no. Nope. Oh. Yeah, you took away all your hearts, but... Well, not all of them, but... Okay, there, there we go. go. No, don't want that. Did you screen it? No need to. No, it disappears uh, anyway. May the power of Christ compel you. Eh. Oh, I ran into that like a dunce. Yep. Probably was gonna be a shield in the end. You can move a little bit. Yeah. Alright. And. Yes, thank God. You just move forward. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Throw it. Alright. Okay. Yeah, it is amazing just how powerful the whip is in this game. Because in our games, it's... It's amazing, but I find the whip to be kind of worthless. Yeah. Here, it's pretty much your Swiss Army knife. Or Swiss Army away, but whatever. The only reason Swiss Army is because you can actually start, you know, using like a triple shot. And now the game will become incredibly easy. As unless you die. Yeah. If you don't die. <laughs> I hope to God, or if I lose this, God forbid. So another interesting thing that I like about this game, I guess we'll get to it uh, when we get to the menu, but... Ooh. Ooh, so close. Thank God I got that meat earlier. I think we're at the end. Yep. It's the end of the level. Just before. 